What's up YouTube, FTW here bringing you another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a pretty much a basic little intro using splines and sweep nerves. So let's just go ahead and set this up. We'll get an output, make our width 1280, our height 720. I'm just going to keep it a regular 90 frames. Um, save. Always save this QuickTime movie when I make intros. You know, save whatever you want. And that's all we need for right now. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your spline tab and grab a uh, text. I'm going to change my text to FTW. I'm going to select my font. I'm just going to use Arista. It's a free download at defont.com if you don't already have it. Go ahead and select that. Okay, and then we want to go back to our spline tab and grab a rectangle. And down here on the width and height and the object properties, we're going to make both of those to about four. Just put four on each one and make a little tiny square. And then we'll go into our nerves and grab a sweep nerves. We'll grab our text and make that a child of the sweep nerves. And we'll do the same thing with the rectangle. Grab that and make it a child of the sweep nerves. And as you can see, it made an outline around our text. Now we'll go down here and select on, uh, once you have your rectangle selected, check rounding. It makes a little smooth edge around that whole outside of it. Okay, then select on your sweep nerves. Go down here to end growth and set that to 0%. Make sure your timeline is on 0 right here on in growth let's uncheck that right here on in growth where it's zero percent this little box onto the left side of it hold control and then click in that box and it'll set a keyframe at zero drag your timeline out to let's say around 70 frames set your in growth to 100 percent control click that little box again it sets another keyframe and if you go back to zero on your timeline, hit play, you can see it draws out the uh, outline of your your text. You got it going on. Okay, you can also do this with uh, other splines. Uh, let's grab a helix and set the plane in your object properties to your ZY. We'll start radius, we'll make that 100 and same with the end radius. Make your height around 800, and we'll just drag that up into position so it basically curves around our text. That's something like that. That works. And then we want to go back to our spline and grab a circle. We'll change the radius of this circle to, let's say, 6. And go back to your nerves, grab another sweep nerves, and do as we did before, grab your helix, make it a child of your sweep nerves. Same thing with your circle, grab that and drag it up to your sweep nerves and make it a child as well. And it gives you an outline around it. Now selecting the sweep nerves in that area, let's go back to zero. And make sure you're, let's set this around 20 frames. And right here on end growth, control click on the little box to set a keyframe at 20 frames. Drag your frames out to around, let's go about 70 as well. Change your end growth to 100%. Control click, set a keyframe. Now if we zoom in on this, one more thing you can do as well is uh, grab your sweep nerves of your helix and... Uh, Hold control and press the letter C and the letter V and it'll duplicate that. And then just drag this back a little bit. About so. Then let's get everything lined up here. Then if you go back to zero on your timeline and hit play, you see a FT dub comes written out and then that spirals around our name. Pretty simple little animation. You can add your three different 
colors if you want. Let's just select the. Uh, let's make a blue. Make a a green. And let's just say make a red. And three different colors. We grab the red. Put it on our text. Another two we'll put on the two little heat leaks. Just like that. Pretty simple. Doesn't look too bad. It's very easy to do. Of course you can play around with this, make something very creative. You you know, just use whatever you want. Uh, hope this helped you out in any ways. If it does, then give this video a like. Check out my channels for more tutorials, gameplays, etc. And uh, if you have any requests for tutorials, just message me here on YouTube and thanks for watching.